And I'm going to get three TPs. Do something about it. And uh, let's see what the first shipment's going to be. It's 700 wood. So, yeah, he's going for Stagecoach. And um, maybe not, actually. His Explorer is chasing. Or getting chased, rather, by the Jose Joaquin de Cico Ten Cattle. Yes, that. Um, Robrot here almost aging up with Micho Khan, so that'll give him the option to go water here. And we'll take a look at the cards. Um, so he's going to get the scaling card. It ships a dock and a fishing boat for each additional shipment you sent this game. There's also this map hack that shows the entire map line of sight temporarily and provides 500 XP crates. So nice age up option here. He's going for the 700 coin right now. He might be trying to Rio Grande actually. I think he is. And, um, that's another really good option to get Guard Falconettes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hold on one second here. Oh, hello? Can you hear me? Oof. Uh, sorry about that. My Discord has been a little funky. Come get some. I think I got dropped out of the call. That's cool. That's... Uh... Just a second. Can you just pause the game? Are we live on stream as well? Yes, I paused the game. We are live on stream. Um, and uh, just to give you an update, if you look at my screen, we do see Double Racks Janissaries here from Conqueror moving forward oh, on the yeah. trading post line. But we do see 700 wood and um, for Robrot, as well as 700 coin on the ground. And he hasn't... Yeah, he's going for Rio Grande because he hasn't placed down his military wagon yet. He's going for the Guard Falconettes here and Culverins. Oh, okay. This is a really powerful build. He's not making vills. He could be making vills and getting these revolutionaries into... Or having more revolutionaries, essentially. I'm curious to see if he goes for five vill or something, or if he's going to save... Okay, so yeah, now he's going to age up with the Tabasco and then go into Rio Grande. So the 700 wood is going to come to the ground. He's going to get more coin. He's going to get more wood. And then he's going to get the uh, 750 of each resource. Stagecoach is now in for the Ottoman player. And he's going to try and contest this cp we do see abus in production now as well so we have jan abus in h2 here very very uh powerful composition no matter the age he's now shipping coin and he's gonna play h2 here what are your thoughts on this interesting interesting i think it's a classic jan abus stage coach play but um, you know once uh sorry once robot gets the cannon and he can just reclaim the you know, trading post and stage post time potentially. So, I'm not sure uh, if Abus will trade well versus the uh, artillery. So, I'd, I'd like Conqueror to, you know, stop making units and try and sneak up, sneak an age up himself. Yeah, I mean, this is a really nice mass here that he's got that he can just poke around with maybe and go from there. But we see Robrod is halfway through aging up and he's now shipping five settlers. So, he is most certainly... Or yeah, I think he's cancelled that actually to save it for the three Falconats that are going to be available to him. Um, military building not down just yet, but as we can see, he's going for the third trading post, and Robrot is macroing very, very heavily towards this revolution. If we take a look over, the three Delhi timing is coming in now, and he's making more Abus, he's making more Jans, and... Uh, I, I don't know how this is going to work out. I mean, if he gets a full batch of Jans and Abus, this could be really good for him. Yeah. Um, he's got... I, love, I love to see two galleys in that pond. Uh, maybe a good broadside would help defend that. That uh, actually is a great position. point. That's mu that'll be much more effective than three Delhi. Although, you know, he does have Stagecoach. He could just put these TPs onto XP, get the galleys in, and then maybe even get a nice broadside on... A these falconets robots aged up here and he's now shipping two falconets and his where's his military building so he's Is aged he up with the coin no i think I, this has to be the revolt like there's no way that he's going mm -hmm. fi here delis are now in and they're going to be searching around the hacienda goes down and uh the livestock is being eaten up 
Uh, so he's brought his cow and one of the sheep back, but now we have 10 Abus on the field with 15 Janissaries. He's going for it! The Rio Grande is coming, and it, oh my goodness, but the thing is, is if... Oh god, this is gonna be really tight. That timing, though. Popping it exactly with the two Falconers. Yeah, and does he have the Guard Artillery Foundry in the back? He does. He's now researching the Guard Techs. He's now shipping three more Falconets. He's gonna have five Guard Field Cannons, and he's got Five 14. cannons yeah. at eight minutes in the game. Oh, man. Oh, it's, boy. I, I don't see how Conquer can deal with this in age, too. I think Conquer uh, just had a WTF moment. What just happened, because... As soon as he saw the revolt, he just took a big U-turn, man. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, um, he does have really nice eco behind this, getting that fourth trading post down now, but um, he's going to need a lot more to deal with this. He's either going to need Abus, he's going to need more Delhi to really what effectively trade. What do you even trade. Uh, with versus a Civ that has revolted? Yeah, I don't think he understands what's going on, to be honest. Just considering <laughs> that he's running these Delhi around. Yeah. Now, the nice thing about these revolutionaries as well is that they have multipliers against cavalry and range. So, Delhi mm. are not going to be a really viable answer here because Robot's just going to ship 16 revolutionaries next and then yeah. just walk into his base, maybe even make culverins, but he hasn't aged. I mean, he could even go eight Chinakos here, which would be insane. Nine soldados. I love an ironclad, like... man. I, I love an ironclad in the point. I, with that, I think he can clear all the trading posts. He can pop them in and out uh, yeah. and micro with the cannons. But yeah, I, I think he can just do anything. There are no wrong choices. Yeah. As I said, now the cannons will, uh, you know, the stage coach hasn't paid off all the trading post will die now and how does Conqueror deal with it i don't Is think he robot's, to go H3? i don't think robot's going for the trading posts he understands that he needs to use this tempo to destroy the tr uh, the tc and he's gonna go right click and yeah, another that, thing that you right mentioned decision. about the Ironclad is that it has the long-ranged attack and could actually just bombard all of the buildings in Ottoman's base. Here we go. Five field guns on the field, and he is now making a stable. He needs to get the stagecoach off of wood and make as many freaking units as he possibly can because this TC, yeah. he needs to get Bashabuziks as well. They would do really nicely. And, oh, he's going with... Jans? I, yeah, I mean... He just needs to pull his villagers, oh. he needs to send Minutemen, he just needs to go all oh, in right now. Oh my god, those... I feel bad for those oh, Abus gunners, man. Oh man, he does take down one and a half, but I mean... Ah, uh, the yeah. TC's gonna go down! Just to oh, the Minutemen didn't even come out! Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's, oh, it's a massacre! There's so many Falconets, yeah. they're doing so much damage! The Delis are coming in, but it doesn't even matter at this point. The Vils are getting pulled to the front line, trying to punch down the Falconets, but the Falconets are still alive! These things are absolutely destroying everything! Oh, little dancing around there, though! Yeah, and the Janissary shooting the hero, I think Conqueror has just uh, mentally checked out of this game. And I wouldn't, I would be too if I were in his position. This is just, uh, this is just a crazy build by Rogrod there. I mean, there's two Falconets left. He still has three TP Stagecoach. But he's, looks yeah, like he's but trying he to build no a tower. He has no villagers. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is not looking good. Robot, on the other hand, is now shipping eight Chinakos, and that is going to be very powerful, especially because they counter heavy cav. So even if he makes delis, right, he's going to get countered. If he makes Abus, he's going to get hard countered. And again, these revolutionaries and falconets are just going to continue carrying tempo forward. And Robot has, you know, he's got two field cannons on the field still. Sieging down this barracks. Do you see some Grent? Oh, some soldados up here at the top as well being trained. I think he shipped the nine. Yeah, and they're taking down this forward infrastructure as well. And let's not forget, soldados have 32 siege. Yeah, oh, I, I think it's just uh, Conquer is talking. Even if he gets five jams from the home city, 
Not sure what that can achieve right now. I'm trying to come from all four sides. Uh, I yeah. respect the hustle. But yeah. Robot microing very well. Oh man. Yeah, he is microing this very well. Understanding that the Abyss are the biggest threat here. Taking those down nicely. Chinakos and Soldados up yeah. at the top dealing with Stagecoach half, and he calls it. Half of his army is AFK and he's still dominating the fight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man. Jeez. I just have no words for this game. As someone in the cha chat pointed out, Congress just got DE'd. Like, yeah, he like, there's just no other way to put it. He just got DE'd so hard. And I mean, like, he played that super well. He got 4 TP Stagecoach. He had Jenny, Best Deli, and... Um, he just got fucked. Like, doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and I think Shake won big on the predictions. So, yeah. So, 3-1 Robrot. Alright, so, um, that was game number four, where we had Robrot coming through with the victory. And it was... So, so Mohongpa, yes. I won't ask you what Sev Shake... I won't ask you directly what Sev Robrot will play. I instead ask, which good Musk Falconer sieves are left? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's plenty of sieves on the table for Robrot to pick. And, um, you know, the Mexico play there was very well done. Uh, mm. He timed that quite nicely. And um, against Otto as well, getting a defeat against Otto is huge. So, yeah. yeah. We will see next what the next game is. I am curious. It is. I am hoping for a Conqueror China. I think Conqueror had used to have excellent China. Not sure if he's up with the current meta of sending the Consulate Wagon card. But yeah. I'd really like to see a China win. All right, everyone. We are heading into game number five, and it is a USA mirror on Arctic territories. This is what? game number five, <laughs> and if Robot wins this game, he advances on to the round of eight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a USA mirror, and it's about to get real toxic. Welcome back to another casted series brought to you by Esoc. I'm here with my great co-caster. Come get some. We've got Robot. We've got Conqueror in the color blue. Let's get to it. What do you think is going to happen this game? What would you do if you were playing a mirror match against another United States opponent? Well, I mean, you're asking the wrong person. My All USA right. is level one. So yeah, I'll <laughs> leave it to you. I think... <laughs> uh, I mean, the classic build is to age up in Pennsylvania, go for those, uh, you know, trickles and just go FF wars. But I think in a mirror, um, maybe some sort of H2 play would be better. Uh, but yeah, we'll find out. Um, What's your thoughts? Uh, you know, I think it's just going to be a fast fortress mirror. If you go for H2, right? Like, USA has so many options to deal with it. They have the five regulars. They have the eight, um, what do you call them? State militia. They have Minutemen. They can, like basically defend it super easily they've also obviously got the church text for pennsylvania where they can get skirms and goons and just deal with whatever is coming towards them and you're really just going to slow yourself down if you don't go for the straight fortress age like you're not going to get any damage done your opponent will be ahead we do see robot here shipping capitalism so let's look at each player's deck so we have yep and two towers in deck here uh, skirm goon we do have 54th massachusetts volunteers which is a good card it upgrades your volunteers or uh, your state militia and your regulars to veterancy and it also ships around five of each so very nice card we do see buffalo soldiers as well as uh the chapka ulans and so pretty standard deck here from robot i would say he does have a lot of h4 artillery cards which is what usa is really strong mm -hmm. at we do however see for uh i love the Spanish you know, firecrackers Going in the background of Robrot's uh, USA. Yeah, of I mean, course. Are they, are they celebrating the last game's victory? Uh, or is <laughs> it a sign for the victory to come? Yeah. Sense, you know? um, much more... Spanish immigrants, yeah. though. I, yeah. I kind of like that. I mean... 
One, it, I actually don't know. I mean, it does give you the forward tower. You can levy it to take down a trading post. Robrot going for the trading post. And um, the uh, it looks like it's going to be 13 uh, out of 20. While Conqueror here is going for... Did he ship capitalism? Yes, he did. So both players going for the same builds here. He is going to get 100 food, though. And that's going to be massive. Yep, especially in the middle. That's just... That's game changing. Honestly. It is, and he's 400 food ahead of Robrot here. Oh, that's probably because of the trading post, I think. Yep, I think Conqueror is going to do something aggressive, especially with the Spanish immigrant and this 100 food age up. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I am excited. Potential this is not going snipe. to be one of those uh, boring mirrors. Yeah. Oh, and he is going to snipe this, actually. Oh, that's, I mean, it's only 30 XP, but it's unfortunate. And also his HP of the Explorer is going to be really low. And, yep, and just, uh, yeah. Anyways, here, we're, we do see the Age of coming in for Conqueror, and he is going up with Pennsylvania. Robrot is, on 12 Vel, is not close to aging. He's going for a 13th. Um, and so, yeah, that 100 food and going for one less villager is going to be absolutely huge. He's going to be able to get out his Pennsylvania techs a lot sooner, which is four vills on coin. And Ooh, that's going to be. This trading huge. post might be denied, though, because yeah. of the low HP here. Yeah, it could be. I mean, granted, he is aging up, so he will get that HP boost. He will be considered idled Ooh. when he is building, so he's going to gain HP. But I do think that, you know. Anthony Kane here is going to do a lot of damage, and that's going to be really important in a mirror match to not have your USA Explorer, not only for tanking, but more importantly, in the pivotal battles, the Inspiring Flag is going to be, you know, the game changer. Like, it, it's so important to have in these fights. So, do you just levy a Minutemen and try to defend your hero right now? Absolutely. Every time you can go for Minutemen is USA, unless you're naked FFing, Ooh, always get it. Ooh, but he misses the pass by like 5 seconds. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That hurts. that hurts. Yeah, so he's halfway aged up. Let's look over at Robrot. He's also going up with Pennsylvania. Um, so, yeah. You know, very far behind in terms of the age up. And if we look over at Conqueror, he's playing this more like a... A Euro Civ, like he's getting hunting dogs. Like is USA, you really don't need your market techs because you just get you just get really quickly into age three, get Russian American company, bam, you've just got yourself for a card better than refrigeration and better than two outposts. <laughs> yep, I think that's one of the best age three cards in the game. It's the best card in the game. Two block houses, uh they build so fast, twenty five percent or thirty percent hunting. You get population from the blockhouses, and they get upgraded to Frontier. And you can I mean, get your veteran C techs from the blockhouse, so you can put a stable down in H2 yeah. and not even worry about it. Pennsylvania Convention, or Philadelphia Convention coming in, um, so he's going to get his four vills mm -hmm. from the coin very, 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 very quickly. And uh, Robrot, he is on 13 vills, so he has two extra, yeah. um, not opting to pop Minutemen, and it looks like he's just going to go straight Fast Fortress. He might... <sighs> I don't know. You know, one thing I don't really like about what Conquer is doing, uh, he's playing it way to vanilla. So yeah. if you are, you know, uh, ahead like 30 or 45 seconds in age of in a mirror matchup, I'd like to see some build deviation. Yes. Uh, you know, try to use that advantage. You're already down 3-1 uh, overall. And, uh, you know, Robrod is probably the more experienced USA player in DE. I think you need to take a bit of a risk here. I agree. I mean, particularly in Amir, I think that, especially, I mean, look at this age up. This is super late. Like, this is like China levels late. Yeah. And um, that's what happens when you go for 13 vil. Like, you just age up so, so late. We do see three vils over here. What are they, what are they doing over here? This is very odd. <laughs> Will they have a proxy FB? I mean, Rob, it's Rob, potential. Um... We'll have to see where these villagers end up. So, 700 coin coming in with the Pennsylvania Church tech. And, um, yeah, he's going to get a huge boost to his economy. Um, he honestly doesn't even need vills on coin right now. Like, he's got capitalism and for... So, he's got six vills on coin, essentially. Like, you don't need these. Um, just let the, the... The point of going for the Pennsylvania Church is that you don't mine coin and you age up. Right, so it's very like mm -hmm. you, you don't want to have villagers on coin. Robrot, on the other hand, 
cancel so he canceled the 700 coin he's now going for the meeting house and now is training hussars i like this actually i don't i really don't like this you're you're far behind you could be aging up very soon right now don't get me wrong Huss are nice but like what are you gonna do against this like he could just pop he, he, like your opponent's already way closer to aging up he could just pop these cancel all of your value mm -hmm. and then still have those when he ages up yeah i think uh, his macro was just not perfect uh he could have maybe cancelled the 700 coin and aged up directly but i think he just wanted to re-macro with the hus yeah uh so i'm not very sure he has cancelled the hus batch and is continuing okay. to progress towards the age up conqueror on the other hand He's getting his Virginia General Assembly, so he's, you know, one shipment ahead in this his build order here. He's got hunting dogs, um, and he's got steel traps, actually, so his eco is much better. Robrod, on the other hand, has had the trading post down for longer. He's on 16 vills, so he is... No, they're at the same, but yeah, this... Okay, so age ups are going to come in similar, but the, uh, as we mentioned, Pennsylvania Meeting House, or Virginia General Assembly, is going to come in faster here. He's clicked age up, he's going up with Kentucky, the Skirm Goon composition, and giving you the access to the two coal mines. It is a fantastic age up. Uh, the other, of course, option would be to go for New Hampshire. Minutemen getting called mm -hmm. now. He's got the Virginia State Capitol coming in. He's going to do the fast age, get... Um, twice as many xp crates and he's in a good position and he's putting everyone on food to get the first round of uh probably carbine cavalry because you're going to age up with the skirms and then get skirms yeah. of course then send five i think in the middle up. especially you would want to age three earlier than an opponent so you can plop the block houses more exactly. aggressively and take map especially on this map you know where you have so much resources in the middle you have got the trees and the choke so yeah that'd be pivotal robot aging in his state capital uh, fast age is coming in conqueror though has it in and he's going to be up very soon robot will be not far behind however and um yeah carbine cav coming in for robot he's also doing the same thing as uh conqueror here conqueror's age up is in he has the shipment he's getting the pennsylvania and now the russian blockhouses are coming in and he's going to get their first both players aging up at the same time. Scores are dead even. Both well, players we have, have a true mirror. Yeah, a true mirror. <laughs> um, curious to see who's going to get there first. This cheeky Vils over here. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, three of them as well, right? Like 1K Wood coming in, and we're probably going to just see some TC greed here. And uh, Conqueror getting his next shipment as well. Goons facing goons. Minutemen here in the mix are going to be able yeah, to... Yeah, Minutemen changing yeah. the tide of the battle. Yeah, and this is why you get Minutemen, right? Like, they will... And the USA flag coming down. And again, if you kill these goons with early tempo, you're going to be able... And you have other flag coming down, too. So both players <laughs> not <laughs> really engaging. Um, I think uh, Robrod saw Conqueror do that and he remembered, oh, I can do that, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if your opponent does it, you might as well yourself. Um... These Minutemen getting really nice value, tanking and allowing these skirmishers to do more damage. More skirmishers coming in, and the blockhouses are coming down right here, though. On the other hand, we have the blockhouses coming forward at the same time. And don't forget that the Ooh. flag it will make these blockhouses build quicker. And um, four goons for Conqueror, three for Robrot, four skirms versus four skirms, but two Minutemen. These blockhouses now going up and he gets the snare with the explorer these blockhouses are also going up however you would say explorer for conqueror going down conqueror robots explorer is still up but he's walking into two blockhouses and boy oh boy uh gatling's coming in for conqueror robot you know what wood. you know what uh, what this one came with signals to me is early chapka yulan I think what Roblox is do, he is uh, he needs 500 coin, 500 uh, sorry 500 uh, food yes. and wood each yes. for that shipment. So I think he's going to go for an early calf switch and try to just brute force the two block houses and the Gatling guns. I think which that I think is, is a pretty great smart. shout, and that will be very devastating. Um, there's not really a lot of anti cav in this early section, but on the other hand, Conqueror here shipping the five um carbine cav and he's starting to attack the gatling or the blockhouses here 
So mm -hmm. we'll see how this plays out. He does have a nice skirmisher mass as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, getting more dragoons. It just seems so risky to, you know, uh, attack the blockhouse because uh, Robot will have his yeah. own Gatling, sure Gatling, so he'll have lower HP, yeah. and uh, Robot will have the better line of sight. Yeah, it's very so it's risky. So risky, man. Yeah, I, I agree, and all oh, these goons, I mean, ugh, it's going to be very tricky to play this. I mean, one person's going to push, the other person can't. I mean, this blockhouse is close to going down, and honestly, if that gets taken down... I think that would be invaluable because now he's double raxing, right? Um, and he's probably gonna mm -hmm. like if you're able to take one of these down, you have the other blockhouse, and you can again ship rolling artillery again if you need to, so you yeah. can get the advantage again in the artillery. I think Robrod is going to sell 500 food, then buy five 300 wood to get the Yulans in. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm calling it. Yeah, for sure, he does sell and you now has 15 sharpshooters. Wait, what was that? Oh, he's shipping rolling artillery again, so he's going to have five Gatlings here. Oh, yeah. The Carbine Cav goes in, and they snipe a Gatling for free. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, but loses two Carbine Cav for yeah, that. Yeah, he does. Mm. Robot doing the same thing, but... Oh, oh, one Gatling gun barely alive, and he loses all of his anti-cav. That is huge. Oh, he does get one Gatling gun with the Explorer. Nice play there. Wow. <clears throat> but now he's shipping seven sharpshooters. So skirmishers, we do have uh, ten for Conqueror. Robrot, on the other hand, is on fifteen, and he has four Gatlings. So, um, it's going to be interesting. He needs to convincingly win this artillery battle and not lose too much while trying to take down the blockhouses in the process. He does repair his blockhouse. Um, uh, I would that's like, a smart yeah, decision. I would like I to see I wonder, because, men. you know, both players have a stable down already. Uh, maybe try to go for a hustle switch early. Uh, maybe that could work, because, you know, both have a bitter down the carbine cavalry mass of each other in order to snipe those uh, Gatling guns. I agree, and not only that, you have Steel Traps and the Russian-American Blockhouse card providing you a huge amount of food, and then the coin trickles are going to be able to cover your Hussar production, so you could easily cav switch here. Like, Conqueror has a decent amount of anti-cav, and, you know, like, these Carbine Cav are kind of low HP compared to other Dragoons, and these Sharpshooters have really good range to be able to snipe down all the Dragoons, and so some Huss right now would be a very, very nice play, but we do see the score difference, and that's reflected in the extra two Gatling guns, and he's going to take down this Blockhouse very quickly here. Mm, what is Conqueror making right now? He's just making skirms, and I, I thought, think, yeah. yeah, I thought the trades were quite even, so I'm uh, kind of surprised how Robrot uh, pulled ahead, because uh, I think Conqueror sent seven skirms while Robrot went for the two rolling artillery. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how Robrot just has a, such a superior mass right now. Conqueror is on 28 villagers. Robrot's on 24, and here comes the Chapka Ulans. This is going Ooh, to be yeah, scary with be four crazy. Gatling guns. I mean, there's... Oh, yeah, I just don't know about this one, mate. I don't think there's enough anti-cav here. Uh, two Gatlings will get melted by the four. These will get melted by the mm -hmm. Gatlings. Chapka Ulans will be able to just go Can and... we see Conqueror shipment so far? What has he sent in H3? I'm very curious. Where did the builds deviate? Um... Uh... Oh, he's popped right now, so it's kind of hard to see, but he oh, has okay. sent, he, he sent the five goons, the two blockhouses, the seven skirms. Um, he, I feel like he's a shipment behind because he didn't have the age one trading post. So that's really oh, coming yeah. into play. Maybe Robo just had that extra shipment. Yeah, he And has. look at that. Uh, Conqueror's Carbine Cap has have gone for a raid. No! Oh man, this will be brutal. They are just sauntering down the Arctic territories. <laughs> Robo with this classic drag box marching for uh, the base. And once he sees the Carbine Cav reading, he'll just right click the town center. Yep. And... He'll just instantly right click the town center. Oh my god. Now look I... at that. No longer drag boxing. He uh, selected his uh, Ulans and just went for the TC. Straight oh... going for the Jaguar now. 
Oh man, this is so smart from Robroy. The classic robot. But yeah, kinda unlucky right for Conqueror as well. It is unlucky, but honestly, I don't think that those goons would make a difference. And he's found everything, and that's gonna be GG oh, for sure. Oh man, I think the Ulans alone will clean everything up. That's gotta be GG. Out. Yeah. Oh man, not like this. Yeah, not like very this. unfortunate. A lot of vills stuck out too. Uh, these Gatlings could be melting the villagers. Um. Yeah, and he just loses his entire mass. 5k score difference. Dragoons are coming back, but... It, I mean... Oh, oh, but he pops his own Shafka Ulans now! And they're pulling on top of the skirmishes and the Gatling guns! Pop. That's a humongous pop! The is blocking the north. But the Gatling guns are behind the sharpshooters. Oh! Mm. Oh, and they all go down! Oh my goodness, and his Ulans are still alive! Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was good micro from Robrod. He actually blocked the cab with his uh, sharpshooters and kept the Gatlings alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. In this round of 16, we have Robrod coming out victorious in game number 5, winning 4-1 in a wow. USA mirror over Conqueror. And that is the series. Yeah. Very well played by Robrod. And you know, uh, actually winning the last game without Musk uh, Gatling. So, gotta, yeah. gotta give him that. <laughs> GG well played to both. That was a really entertaining series. Um, and yeah, Robrod coming in very strong and putting up a excellent performance that I think he can be very proud of. Conqueror is an excellent player. And, um, you know, the, I don't think the scoreline showed how close this was, actually. Like, a lot of those games were pretty close. The How to oh, Shone yeah, British game was close. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, very, very excellent. Very entertaining. Um, yeah. Yeah. And um, Robot getting the series. And uh, Robot will play Kevin in the round of eight. So, yeah. So we have two players already progressing there, and yeah, it, it's going to be a great series so far. The brackets are looking stacked. They are. And we have I am Turk progressing. We have Robot progressing. I'm Ahongpa. Are will you be able to cast another series right now? Because uh... for me, if it, because it's going to be a solo cast for you, because it's midnight for me. Unfortunately, have a work day tomorrow, yeah. and I'll have to bow out. But yeah, it was a pleasure casting with you. Likewise. Great series. First one, 4-3. Such a good series. Such a close series. And even this one. Got some high level games. Got a good mix of classic legacy uh, matchups. Some mirrors. And all the D shenanigans that, you know, some of us hate, some of us love. But yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed co-casting with you. Yeah. Uh, I'll watch the third one maybe tomorrow. And good luck to you. For All right. the third one. Yeah. Um, peace. Peace. All right. Uh, let's see here. We do have the recordings for the King of Osmain only boss series. Now, um, the first two games do go out of sync, actually. Um, so we'll only be able to watch the last few. Um, let's see here. Uh, is Giggs in chat, or is, uh, who's in chat here? Alright, whatever. Um, I think let's do the, uh, other series another day. It is, I have not eaten yet, and, uh, we've been going on for a long time here. Um, so maybe let's do that instead, um, if that's cool with everyone. So, once again, thank you all for coming along on this two series in a row between um, Robrot and Conqueror and I Am Turk versus Chef CD. So that was a great, great, great two series. All right, everyone. Um, I'm going to call it here, I think, and then we will get the other recorded games casted another time. Um, if there are any mods in chat to go raid somebody, feel free to go do so. Uh, otherwise, I'll end the stream there.
Let's look at Discord here and see. All right. All right, I think I'm just going to end it there. Um, if somebody wants to take all these viewers over, feel free to do so, and the raid will carry through uh, with the viewers. I'm Emma Hong PA, your main caster for this series today. It was a blast. Thanks, everyone, for coming along, and I will catch you guys in the next series. Peace.